Okay, so today we are going to go over how to install the My Genesis client software. I'm getting a lot of questions over this, so we're just going to go step by step through the whole thing so there's no longer any confusion on it. So there's two ways to get this software. I'm going to email you a link like this, or I will put a link also in the comment section so you can look for it there also. So if I or one of my dealers send you this link, you just click on it and it's going to open up a OneDrive and it's listed right here. It should automatically pop this up or you can save file. If not, you can just click on this and then this should pop up. So you're going to save your file. So right here, it's downloading. It's going to take a little while. One of the questions I get is, I clicked on it, it went through everything, but now where is it? I don't know where it is because different browsers put downloads in different spots. And they also look at things differently as far as whether the icons are on the side, on the top, is it an arrow, is it something else? I don't know. If it gives you an option on where to save it, my recommendation is save it to your desktop so it's easy to find. If not, um, like here it says show all downloads. I click on that, it opens up a window of where it's at. Um, so those are different options. Just know where you're saving it because you're going to have to be able to click on that file once it's downloaded. Just to save some time so we don't sit here and wait while this downloads, I've already got it downloaded. Save to my desktop. And it's right here. This is what it will look like. Double click it. Yes. And then it's going to start going through its install. Yes, we want English. Unless you want another language, you can choose any language you want. Next. And next. And next. Very small program, does not take a lot of space up, uh, does not take a lot of resources on your computer, so you don't have to worry about that. Already done and installed. Here it's checkmarked run the client now, so it'll automatically run. For some reason, if yours doesn't automatically run, here's the icon now for it, and it should put an icon on your desktop. Uh, there's no icon really, it's just a white, it says my genius client. Genesis, sorry, not genius. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's initializing communication because I've already got my, my Genesis plugged in to my computer. So it's already looking for it. It probably will pop up here in a minute and tell us we need to do updates. And that is perfectly fine. It's normal. Um, it's no big deal. So we'll wait for this to finish up. Yep, new updates are present. Close program proceed, yes. You wanna accept the terms and conditions. And it's gonna go through the install process for the updates. It's gonna take a few minutes. I'll sit back and uh, you guys can watch this very boringly happen, but I wanna go through this step by step so you guys don't miss anything and you know exactly what it's gonna look like on your computer. So I'll be back with you here shortly. Okay, so the update's completed, you click OK, that closes out, it will not reopen it automatically. So you just find your icon, double click, and the 
program opens up again and it's starting to communicate with the my genesis if yours isn't plugged in it won't start this until you plug it in now would be a good time to do that so there's four options here there's download upload info and update uh, yours might only have download info update um, mine has all these options because I've used this unit multiple times so it's got everything if it's the first time you've used it probably doesn't have upload it just has the download button but that's what you need to do so you're going to click on download and next and here's a very important part of this where you're going to save this downloaded file I've got it set to go to the desktop. That is not the default location that it comes with. So I think it goes to my documents. This is also another question I get a lot is, well, I saved it, where did it go? I'm not sure because I don't know what you had in here. My recommendation, save it to the desktop. It's easy. Next, confirm. Okay, so it's done, you hit close. It's gonna open up a window where it saved it. It's right here, it's mygfile.fpf. I'm gonna close this out because it's right here. Saved to my desktop, easy to find. Your file will always be called when you download it the first time. mygfile.fpf. It's also how you're gonna find it if you don't know where it went. You can put it in your search bar and search for this file if for some reason you can't find it, okay? This needs to be emailed to me. You can reply to the email I sent you with the uh, link. That's the easiest way, just hit reply, attach this file to your email. Again, I don't know how to attach it to your email because I don't know what email program you're using. There are so many on the market. I just can't keep up with them. I use Thunderbird, there's Yahoo, Outlook, Gmail. Uh, I had a guy the other day with AOL. I haven't begun, I got a clue how to use AOL. So if you don't know how to send an email with an attachment, find somebody that does. Maybe your wife, maybe your daughter, granddaughter, great granddaughter. I'm sure that they know how to do it and they can help you with it. But you're gonna send me this file. I'm then going to modify it and send it back to you. It's no longer going to be called my G file. That's what a standard modified file looks like. Mod.fpf. I might put something else in there, whether it be your name, model number, something just so I can keep track of them, especially if you're doing multiple units. Then I send them back to you and you say, oh, this is for this tractor, this is for that truck, this is for whatever. I might, instead of zero, 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 it might say something else, but it will always say mod, M-O-D, modified file. That's the one you're gonna reload with whatever modifications you requested. So you're then going to hit upload. Next, select a file to upload, you hit these little dots over here. This automatically set, go to my desktop and you select your modified file. You hit open, it's gonna say verifying file. This is gonna error out because that is not the correct modified file for this unit. If for some reason I send you the wrong one or if you're doing multiples, and you try to load the wrong one, it knows that, hey, this doesn't match my original and it will not, not allow you to do it, okay? But once you get this loaded in there, you just hit next and it loads it back onto the My Genesis. So that's how you do it. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Hopefully this takes some confusion out of it, makes it a lot easier for people. And then I will also be doing videos on how to download it out of the tractor if you haven't viewed that one yet. 
and then how to re-upload it into your tractor, truck, whatever. Those procedures are basically all the same no matter what. So if you haven't, there'll be three videos basically. How to download from the tractor. There'll be this one on how to use the My Genesis Client software to import and export your file. And there'll be a video on how to reload. So if you want to watch all three, make sure you do basically part one, part two, part three. There'll be the download, the client, which is this, and there'll be an upload. So thank you very much.